Reporters Without Borders came to Yahoo Silicon Valley headquarters to show the company what its cooperation with the Chinese government really means. We want them to realize what they've done. We want them to see that they helped the Chinese police to jail people, human beings. He showed them this video smuggled out of China. My brother is in jail because of you. In it, the brother of Li Ji says his brother's health in prison has deteriorated. He says Yahoo helped Chinese authorities identify Li Ji, who had on the internet anonymously exposed government corruption. Your company is the reason that all of this has happened. Also imprisoned, journalist Shi Tao for writing about Chinese press censorship. His lawyer says Yahoo helped the government trace emails to his computer and warns there are more cases. Yahoo did not only give information about Shi Tao, it has done the same to many others. At a recent hearing on this issue, Congressman Tom Lantos, a survivor of the Holocaust, accused the company of complicity in human rights violations. Your abhorrent activities in China are a disgrace. I can ask it ten more times if you refuse to answer it. You are under oath. Have you reached out to the families? We have not reached out to the families. That was my question. Yahoo would not comment on these latest charges to ABC News, but its general response, like other Internet companies that do business in China, has been that it has to comply with local laws in order to work in the burgeoning Chinese market. But Reporters Without Borders challenges that argument, and the company threatened to remove them from their campus. You can either exit the campus or we're going to have to call the police department. Then call the police. A company executive eventually agreed to meet with the group. Yahoo's policy of complying with the Chinese government remains in place. Jake Tapper, ABC News, Washington.